Hello everyone, my name is Irindil, and welcome back to Strange Town. It has been over a year since I last played in this uh, Strange Town save, but I decided that I kind of wanted to return to it. I might be playing it again on my own time soon, and I just wanted to go back and kind of run down uh, or walk down memory lane, you might say. Now, I did make a first part to this series. Um, if you would like to see it, I'll probably have a link down in the description. But in the first part, I went over the main families of Strange Town and the ways that they had progressed in 40 in-game years. I play a one-day equals one-year uh, playstyle. And, you know, I went through the Curious families, the Spectres, Loners, Smiths, and uh, Singles and all of them. Uh, but I did not really go over all of the side families that I put in the game because I have a very, very large, I mean, to me, it's very large, uh, Strange Town. And by Strange Town, I mean a world. Um, they're not all in Strange Town, obviously. So I thought that in this video, to help me walk down memory lane or just rejog my memory before I start playing again, I would go through the other families that I did not take a look at in the last episode. Uh, so the first one that I think we're going to look at is the Newson family, because I did, I went through and I added all of the uh, Bin families to the game. That's what I mean by having a large town. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll look at the Newson family, because there have been quite a few things that have happened with them. Uh, they might have been in the video, because there is a main... Strange Town Sim that lives with them, but we'll get to that once we hop in. All right, so here we are in the Newsome household. You see, I have them here in the house right across from the Grunts. I felt like it's the only place in town that's anywhere suitable for the Newsons. Um, but we'll go ahead and look at who is here right now. Right now, we have Gavin Newsom, who is currently taking a bath in his broken bathtub and disgusting bathroom. Uh, Gavin is. A fortune sim. I believe he starts off as that way as a teenager. I think so anyways. Can't remember. Um, and he actually married Jill Smith. And he and Jill together have a little baby, Garman, who I, I named after um, a character from Bloodborne because I couldn't think of anything else to name him. I wanted to keep with the, the G naming convention for the uh, Newsom family. Um, but yeah. So, Gavin is not doing terribly, like he's a starter, which means he's making money. Uh, the new Sims are not in, like, terrible financial difficulty like they are when you start. Um, but actually his wife is more of, I don't know if she's more the money maker or not, but she actually owns her own business right across the street there. Uh, that is her arcade that she runs, and it's kind of successful, not super. The next sim we have is Gallagher, who is currently sleeping. Uh, Gallagher is in the adventurer career. He's just kind of starting off. He's not doing too great. Um, he does not have a relationship at the moment, or does he? That's his sister. Oh, yeah, yes, he does. He is actually talking to uh, Trixie Fuchs. And uh, we're going to be talking about Trixie Fuchs soon because there is a lot a lot to do with her uh, but they don't have anything like going on other than just they are in a romantic relationship next up we have garrett newson and garrett is uh in a relationship with barbara young now that might progress further i don't know yet it's been like i said it's been a year since i played this but he seems to like barbara a lot maybe more will happen I don't know if I want a huge house <laughs> or like a huge household again because it's hard enough to manage like the base nuisance. Uh, but I did manage to get all the girls out of the house, which I guess we're going to move on to at some point. I don't know if they are the next family or not. But yeah, that is the Newsom family. Uh, things are going quite well for them. All right. Now the next sim that, or the next household we're going to check out is the Menon household, which is right here. They live in the uh, Crossroads apartment. And we'll go ahead and read their description here real quick. I did go ahead and add in uh, custom descriptions for all of the new, quote unquote, new households that I had to make. Uh, being a single girl was great when she was young. 
But after one too many fights with Chloe, Aaron knew she had to uh, get out on her own. And with handsome Waylon Menon always showing up whenever she went out, something was inevitably going to happen. So yeah, this is Aaron Beaker uh, and Waylon Menon. They are a couple. They never married. But let's just go ahead and hop into their apartment so we can talk about them some more. Alright, and here we are in the Menon household. Of course, we have Waylon, who is laying on his bed. Please... Okay, he's relaxing. I hope that's not an ACR relax, but who knows? Uh, Waylon is a sous chef. He's you know makes a good amount of money. Uh, the Menons have a good chunk of money here. They could move out from this apartment if they wanted to. Not really a point to right now. But like I said, he is in a relationship with Aaron Beaker, and he's been in a relationship with Aaron for many years. But she's never wanted to get married. Neither of them have ever wanted to like propose to one another. I play once based, so. That's just how it's worked out. Neither of them just wanted to get together like that. They are happy the way they are. They do, however, have one child, little saying, well, little, she is an adult now, uh, Sangria Menon. And no, actually, buddy, um, <laughs> we'll get to him later. Um, she is in a relationship with somebody. She is in a relationship with, I believe it's uh, David, David Otimus. Uh, she wants to get engaged to him, so I'm actually going to cancel out one of these careers here. I have her lock and get engaged to him, because that is one of her biggest wants. Um, but David is currently at university. We're not going to go check on him, because he's just in university, and check on the university stuff. Is, oh, there's Matthew Howe. He's important later. Um, but yeah, we're not going to go check on him or anything. Just know that he is engaged to the daughter of Aaron Beaker, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, but that's about it for the Menons. Uh, they have been really fun to play. Erin on her own has actually been really cool. Uh, she just, I had to get her out of the house, out of the singles house, because um, she and Chloe just were always going at it. I don't know if they're still enemies or not. Um, yeah, they just were always going at it. Uh, they're still enemies. So I had to get them out of the house. But yeah, that is the Menons. All right, and we are going to stay at the Crossroads apartment here. We're going to go to the Swain family. Uh, Eric isn't afraid to march right into any challenge that awaits him. He came here on his own and is determined to make the best of it. Will everyone else accept his unique approach to life? And let's talk about Eric Swain here. But Jimmy feels like he's all ready for a fresh start uh, since no one really knows anything about him. But will it really be that easy to leave his past? Well, and let's talk about Jimmy Phoenix here. Uh, Jimmy moved to Strange Town and immediately made more mistakes, which we're going to get into right now. All right, so this is what I'm calling the Swain household. It could be the Swain uh, Phoenix household. Uh, it is made up of Eric Swain and Jimmy Phoenix, who are two Sims you can find at, it. I think it's... Uh, L'Academy de Tour or Sim State University. It's one of those two. I know it's not La Fiesta Tech. Um, but, yeah, they went to university, they graduated, and they moved here to Strange Town. Now, Eric actually married Georgia Swain. So, Georgia and Eric were married, and they had a little baby named Garrett, who is actually named after one of George's brothers, who I, which I think is, you know, a pretty sweet thing to do. Um, I don't know if he's going to be anything like Garrett, but we'll see what happens. Um, now, the real stars of this family is Jimmy. Not that there's anything wrong with Jimmy. He's just a family sim. There's nothing wrong with him himself, except that he's really, really, really attracted to his wife, Arlene. And... You can see they have three bolts of chemistry. They really like each other. They were like really hit it off. They were like really meant for each other. Problem with that was that Arlene was, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> uh, Arlene was previously engaged to somebody else. Uh, Arlene was actually engaged to <laughs> Balder Beaker. Oh gosh, everybody's sick now because they live in an apartment. Great, wonderful. Um, yeah, she was engaged to Balder Beaker, who is the son of, um, Loki and Cersei. He's a warlock, but that happened afterward. He kind of, like, fell into darkness after... 
<laughs> after being betrayed by his fiance. Um, but yeah, they were engaged, and Arlene uh, kissed Jimmy at the wedding. Of course, Balder found out and got in a fight, and Arlene then decided to leave him at the altar, and it has been... They just, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter because Jimmy ended up marrying her, and they seem to be in a really happy relationship. Uh, like I said, they are very much meant for each other. They have, like, perfect chemistry. I, You very rarely ever get that perfect chemistry, so maybe they were meant to be together. Uh, but yeah, that is the Swain household. It's a very, very interesting household. I don't know if I love it or hate it, but it is definitely something. Alright, and there's one more household here in the Crossroads apartment. It'll be a quick one. There's not a whole lot happened. This is like really, really recent stuff that's happened. So I just figured we'd hop in. I'd talk about it for a second. So this is the Howe family with uh, Matthew Howe here and uh, Georgia Newson. They are very much in love. They're not engaged or anything yet. That might happen in the future. Um, Georgia is, or not Georgia, but Ginger is obviously a family sim, so she's going to want it. Uh, but the way that I RP'd it was that uh, Ginger was overcrowded in her house and she needed to get out. And she decided that she liked Matthew. So... When he asked her if she wanted to get a place together, she jumped at the chance. I think that's actually in the bio that I have for the family. <laughs> Real reason was, it was cramped in the household and I wanted to get her out. So once I found somebody she kind of liked, I jumped at the chance to get him, get her out. Uh, but look, there's her sister. So, so like She lives right next door to her sister, so that's kind of cool, you know. But yeah, not a whole lot going on here, but I still think it's kind of, kind of interesting. Alright, and there is only one more family in Strangetown itself that I have to show you. Uh, the next one, or all the other ones, will be over in downtown. Um, I call it just Downtown Sim City, which I think I explained in the last episode, but who knows. Uh, it's been a year. So yeah, last one is the Otomus family. Alright, so we're in the uh, Otomus family now. Dora has passed, of course. Um, it's been several years. Uh, not every family that I've played with has been in the game for 40 years uh, other than the base you know the base strange town ones uh, but these guys have been in for a decent amount of time you know enough for uh the unborn baby to become children that should give you an idea how much time has passed for the Otomus. uh peter is peter uh he is a sports columnist he's doing pretty well will they make a decent amount of money uh he has been good uh, as of right now, it might just be because he has not run into another woman that he's attracted to. Uh, but, Charla, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so far he has been good. Uh, Samantha has been boring. <laughs> uh, she has a good relationship with all of her kids except for, uh, David. I uh, don't know what's wrong with David, but, uh, yeah, she just... I've been trying to get it boosted up, but whenever they call, they just don't do it great. But he's in college now, so he can find his own path or everything. Uh, Sharla has a thing going with Newt Grunt. Uh, Newt is obviously one of the... I actually don't remember. Who is Newt? That has to be Buck's kid. I think it has to be Buck's kid, because Buck is the only one that has legitimate children. We'll get into the why I said legitimate, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I think she, yeah, I think that's I think that's Buck's kid. Yeah, I know you're sick with the flu, Charlotte, because you were just hopping on them. Uh, then we have Tommy. Tommy's just a kid. Not much is happening with him. Uh, he doesn't really have any friends. He knows Chloe Loner. Chloe it was named after her uh, her aunt. No, her, her great aunt. I don't know. It's been so long since I played this. I don't remember the family tree too much, but, uh, um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot going. He's a kid. And then the two babies that, uh, Samantha was pregnant with at the start, I just named Marcy and Mavis. And again, not a whole lot going on with them because they're just kids. Uh, but yeah, that is the Otomus family. And now we're going to hop over to downtown Sim City and see everybody else. 
All right, and welcome to downtown SimCity. I've not really done much with it other than added like a few places like a cemetery and maybe like a pet store if I remember correctly. Uh, not a whole lot, uh, but I do have a lot of families here. Now, like I said, not all the families have been in for 40 years. Some of them have been, you know, for 20 or whatever. Some of them have been very recently and I won't go in depth with them. I might not even go into the household because they've been so recent. I also might have gone over some of these in the first part. I don't remember. Could have watched the video, but I'm lazy. <laughs> um, because they do involve, like, the main families. But I feel like I should go into them anyways, just to run down memory lane. First one here, we have the Laundry, or Landry family. This one is important, so we'll hop in here. Alright, so here we have Melody Landry, who is actually uh, Melody or Melody Beaker. She is the daughter of uh, Cersei and Loki, their first child, their oldest child. And I don't know what it is about Melody, but I love her so much. Uh, she was the first kid that they had, and she was stuck down in the basement where uh, Nervous used to live. And they didn't really treat her like a subject or anything like that, but they did not give her like any kind of love or anything like that whatsoever. Um, other than Loki was okay with her, but she just, I, her mother paid no attention to her. And you know how in The Sims 2, like, families are really easy to build up and stuff like that when they're all in the same household? No, Melody and Cersei just never got along. So I always, I always felt bad for her, and I always wanted her to find somebody that, you know, you know, she can move out with and be happy with. Uh, she was really f uh, good friends with uh, Timothy Pye. I thought they were going to get together, but that never happened, and I don't know, know why that never happened. Uh, Timothy Pye is the uh, son of Chloe... I think it's Chloe Curious. I think so. It's been a while. But yeah, anyways, Melody ended up marrying uh, Gerard Landry. He's just a normal townie, uh, downtowny, whatever you want to call him. And together they had Timothy. And Timothy is named after Timothy Pye because they were such good friends. In fact, I'm pretty sure I had this this family in the last episode uh, because I remember talking about that so much. Or maybe it was because I hopped in the single household. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, Gerard is a city council member, makes good money. Melody is a junior officer, makes good money. And yeah. Not super interesting household, but I really, really, really love Melody. She's, like, one of my favorite non-starting sims. Also, there's Matthew Picasso. We'll see him eventually. All right, the next one we're going to check out is the Roseland. And the Roseland family is actually very similar to the Landry family, which I'll explain once we hop in. All right, here we are in the Roseland family. You know, we have Sid Roseland, who is one of the Ben Sims, with his little dog, Porthos. Uh, Sid is currently unemployed. Doesn't really matter. You know, they've got a decent amount of money at the moment. Um, I might have him make some more money. I believe he... Actually, let me check his badges, because I think he is... Yeah, he's learning how to make uh, flower arrangements and stuff like that. That's how he's going to make his money. His wife, though, is Sincerity Roseland. And I'm not going to tell you... Uh, who her parents are, but, uh, uh, I'm just gonna have you guess by looking at her eyebrows. <laughs> Did you guess? Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, she is Melody, or, yeah, Melody's sister. Very similar situation. My cat is meowing. Sable, are you wanna be in this video too? I'm talking about The Sims. Uh, but she had a much better childhood. I believe she was the twin of Balder. You, I might be wrong there, but I believe they were twins. Um, but she had a much better family life than her sister. Um, but then she met uh, Sid, and they weren't, like, super hot for each other. But it was enough where, like, I was like, um, they're kind of going after each other, so why not just let them? Uh, but they have a really good life, so. Uh, Sable? You're going to be in the video. You know that, right? But yeah, but then Sid and Serenity have a child together, little Meridia. Now, <laughs> Meridia, uh, I kind of wanted to bring back the deity theme of the uh, Beaker family. Because I thought it was cool, and I didn't really do it with Sincerity or Melody. So I decided to do it with, uh, with their daughter here. 
And but I didn't want to do like a real life deity. I wanted to do like a fake one since she's not like you know, she is a branch off of the uh the Beaker family. So I named her after an Elder Scroll deity. <laughs> Cuz why not? Name her after the Daedric Prince of uh, energies. <laughs> oh gosh. There's Arlene Phoenix. Better hide Sid. No, she's totally in love with Jimmy. She would never do anything else. I'm 100% sure she's just... Wait, do you... Hold on. Do you hate... I think... Hold on. Serenity, do you hate her? No, you are you actually are okay with her. That's weird. You would... I think Melody might actually hate her. I don't know. But yeah, that is the Roseland family. Kind of fun. Kind of okay. Not a whole lot going on, but, you know, it's... Yeah, I know. It's it's special in its own way, isn't it, Sable? Yeah, it's special in its own way, like Sable said. All right, the next family on the list are the Ramaswamis, and like I said, there might be some families that not a lot has happened yet, and that's what happened here. It's just Sanjay and Priya. They moved in. They immediately had a kid on the heat, and that's really all that's happened. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, here we are at the Cook family, and not a whole lot has happened to the Cook family, but I still feel like I need to hop in because... Because here's Lola Curious. No, I'm joking. It's just Zoe Curious, or Cook now. Uh, she looks almost identical to her mother, other than the eyes, because she has human eyes, because her father was uh, AJ Loner. Uh, I guess she wouldn't be... Zo Curious should be Zo Loner, but it's just, you know, families get messed up with their names and bloodlines and all that stuff. But yeah, here's Zo. She's very, very much like her mother, like, appearance-wise. Although she is a family sim and not a fortune sim. Uh, that means she definitely wants a baby soon. And uh, maybe her husband, Julian Cook, can give her that. But uh, I don't know. Uh, Julian is a prep cook. And makes a decent amount of money, I guess. Um, but then also, Zoe is an intern and makes a decent amount of money. Not a whole lot has happened in this household. I just thought it was important to hop in since Zoe looks so much like her mother. Um, but yeah, that is the Cook family. Maybe something will happen with Julian. I would like him to actually open a restaurant. I don't know if he'll have time to be able to do it. Maybe if they have a kid, they could open up a restaurant and name it after Julian. I feel like that would be kind of cool. But yeah, that's the Cooks. Here we have another family where pretty much nothing has happened. Uh, there was Jessica and Matthew Picasso, and they had a kid named Ben. I, I'm i pretty sure they had Ben after... Because when you start the game, I think it's just Jessica and Matthew, right? I think so. Unless I'm completely misremembering things, because it's been a while since I played with Ben families. Uh, but yeah, nothing really happened other than they had Ben. Like, not a whole lot has happened to the Picasso family. They haven't interacted with other families or anything like that. There's nothing with them. They're very, very boring. The goodies, however... <laughs> I mean, not a whole lot has happened with them, but I still feel like we should uh, talk about the goodies. Because, obviously, uh, they're not alive anymore. All right, here we are in the Goody family. We have Kenny Goody here, who I guess is going to go to work as a dive master. Uh, he is the adopted son of Faith and Herbert Goody. Um, they were very old, obviously, when you start the game, but they still wanted to have a kid, and uh, that's what they did. They, they adopted little Kenny. He was a child, I believe, when they adopted him. Uh, he grew up, and he grew up to be a family sim, which I think is great. And he ended up marrying Renee Goody. I don't remember Renee's last name when the game starts. Uh, she's a townie. Um, you guys can comment that down below if you can remember what it is. Uh, but yeah, three bolts. <laughs> they were made for each other. But she also wants to have a kid. Because even though she's a fortune sim, she wants to have a kid. Kenny being a fam family sim. Yeah, Kenny being a family sim wants a kid. They have two cats. They have got... Such a good life up here. They have so much money. Kenny's working on the car. The goodies are set up. Um, his parents set him up just great. You know, he has everything he ever wanted. Um, he's going to have more of what he wants to. Uh, but his parents, particularly Herbert, uh, got up to some stuff. 
in this game, um, which nobody knows about other than one other person in this town, and we'll get there, because she has a lot going on with her. But yeah, again, not a whole lot going on with the goodies, other than just they have the life, and uh, Kenny is such a happy sim, and he deserves it because he's such a good guy. All right, we got the Traveler family next, and they're another one that not a whole lot's happened. Uh, Tina has aged up from a child into a teenager. Not not a whole lot's happened, unfortunately. Uh, things will happen once I start playing again, though. Uh, so stay tuned if I ever make a 60 years later video. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll move on to the next one. All right, so we've got the Gavigan family and then the Fuchs family. I'm saving the Fuchs family for last. Uh, the Gavigan family is another situation where Mary, Nathan, and Isaiah, nothing as much has happened to them. Isaiah has grown up into a teenager. Uh, but then also Nathan and Mary had another kid who I named Ezekiel because I just thought it went well with the, um, you know, biblical name of Isaiah. And I thought that this kind of family might want to do that. But really, that's about it for the Gavigans. And now for... Probably my most troubled household, one of my favorite households, we're going to be moving into the Fuchs family. Falling in love with Rip Grunt in their teenage years, Allison dropped everything to follow him to university. But it seems that Rip saw her nothing more than a number on his woohoo count, so now Allison is left to raise her daughter on her own. That's why Allison Fuchs has her own household, because I thought that she was going to get with Rip Grunt and they were going to, you know, live together. Maybe not marry, but, you know, want to be together and everything. But Rip apparently saw things different. Um, so we'll go ahead and hop, we'll hop in here so I can explain it more. All right. And so here we have, like I said, we have Allison Fuchs. She was, I believe she was a cashier in Strange Town, and she met uh, Rip Grunt, who she still has a thing with. They have woohooed a few times. Uh, uh, you'll you'll see this here. <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, but uh, yeah, so she had a thing with Rip Grunt in high school and in the university. She went to university specifically because Rip went to, to university. And by that, I mean when I created the a university household, I was able to, you know, draw her out of the, uh, the teenager pool from the menu and stuff. Um, so yeah, they went to university together. Um, you know, she moved in here thinking, oh, maybe, you know, I'll have a house and, you know, I've got money. Um, Rip will want to move in with me. Uh, nope. She got pregnant with Trixie. <laughs> this is Trixie Fuchs. Well, let's wake her up so you can see her. Uh, this is Trixie Fuchs. She is the daughter of Allison and Rip Grunt. She, I don't think she really looks like Rip all that much, to be honest. Maybe she does. I don't know. Um, but she is a romance sim, just like her father. She has had a thing with Jimmy Phoenix. She has had a thing with Gallagher Newsom. Um, and... I think... Those are all the guys she's been with? Maybe? I don't remember. Who was that? Who, who was that that died? Freddy. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know. remember what this one was. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, those are the guys that she's been with. But uh, she now she wants to talk with Eric. It's like, uh, she is a... She doesn't look like her father, but she is her father. Um... Allison, though, has had a few lovers as well. Like I said, she had Rip. She had Vidkin Curious, who is actually the father of her son, a uh, little Taylor here. Uh, weirdly, that's that's Vidkin's child, if you can believe it. Uh, and she also had a, had um, Woohoo with uh, Herbert Oldie. Let's go back here and see if we can see it. No, that's Vidkin. Uh, there's Herbert, or not Herbert Goldie. Herbert Goody, not Herbert. Nick. The goodies are basically just a ripoff of the oldies, right? I'm not the only one that thinks that. That's what it is, right? I don't know. But, yeah. 
So this is my wildest family. <laughs> Uh, I love Trixie so much, but she is a handful. And I don't want her to break things up with uh, Eric and Georgia. But I play once-based, so if that's what she wants to do while I'm playing her, that's what's going to happen. And I, <laughs> it's just how things are. But yeah, that is the Fuchs family. That is everybody, I believe. But that is my Strange Town 40 Years Later Part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed I really enjoyed walking down memory lane here, and I'm kind of excited to go back and play. Uh, I don't know if I will, because I just finished up um, another playthrough of River Blossom Hills, where I went through 40 years. I believe it's 40 years. Pretty sure it's 40 years. Um, so I might start a new town before I come back to Strangetown. I might do Veronaville. I don't know. Or I might come back to Strangetown, because Strangetown is probably my, my favorite sims 2 town but uh yeah thanks a lot for watching and i can't wait until next time to see you again hey everyone mathis Irindil here thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed the video consider leaving a like or a subscription on the channel or both if you want or if you wanted to support me even more maybe monetarily i do not have a patreon or anything like that However, I am a storyteller and an author, uh, which might be evident by the type of videos that I make on this channel. I've written a story called Immortal Colors, which is on Amazon right now. It is a modern-ish fantasy story that takes place on an island away from uh, civilization, where there are different clans that try to work together to uh, sustain life on the island, but there is also some uh, shady stuff going around on the island. Um, if you don't want to support me that way, absolutely fine. Like I said, a like or a subscription would be great. It helps out the channel so much. But uh, thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time.